Hey everybody, it's Dr. Warren for another episode of the show. So what we're going to do today is talk about something that we have been talking about a lot off of camera, and that's how to avoid those holiday pounds. It's the holidays, we know we're going to be eating some good food, and we want to talk about how to avoid the extra pounds. So, how do you do that and still eat good food? Well, you got to look at digestion, digestive health. We're going to get on that right now. This is a part of the digestive, uh, I guess I'll call it a digestive series because we're going to talk about chewing right now and then we're going to go step by step by step. So first, digestion has got to start in your mouth. After that, it goes to your stomach. And after that, it's going to go to your intestines. So before we get started, let me just tell you, because I just thought about enzymes and all kind of good stuff. On this Saturday, you're going to have a health fair at Good Nutrition. This Saturday, health fair at Good Nutrition. And if you don't know the Good Nutrition of Sandy Springs, that's gonna be on Hammond Drive. Uh, you can find the intersection of Hammond Drive and Roswell Road. So if everyone knows the big parking lot where Whole Foods is at, Good Nutrition is in that parking lot right up against the Hammond Drive side so those are the good good announcements good things hope that some of you can come out and we'll catch you there and talk about some healthy stuff all right so let's get back into the digestion thing and avoiding those holiday pounds so hopefully a lot of us have found some gluten-free stuffings <laughs> um, why 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 gluten-free and let me say gluten-free and non-gmo because you find a lot of gluten-free things that are gm so you're not doing your digestion any favors because if you're eating a bunch of GM potato starch, GM corn, processed corn, corn starches, corn this, corn that as fillers, all you're doing is getting excessive levels of bad stuff in your body, glyphosate, which just rips everything to shreds. So don't do that. That's going to age you. That's going to do all kind of bad stuff. Anytime you do a gluten-free, I need you to do gluten-free, non-GMO. It must be both. Must be non-GMO because some of your big GMs, the potatoes, the corn, those are big fillers. Those are used in a lot of things where we think we're eating safe and well. They're actually Trojan horsing us with the GM there. So those are those quick bits for eating some good stuff. Now let's talk about how the digestive process starts because we're going to be eating stuffing, right? With some good cranberry sauce. All right, so that means sugar. And sugar or carbohydrates are the means by which we gain pounds, right? Well, yes and no. Sugar is really not your enemy. It is absorption. Absorption is everything. Um, the process of destroying the system is what leads to malabsorption. The malabsorption or the inability to get the nutrients out of food because you're not breaking it down and well it can't even get through because our intestinal tract is so dirty that leads to more problems that drives you for more foods your body saying hey you just ripped me off man you, you just you just shortchanged me I was looking for some minerals and you just gave me a bunch of nothing but air so that's the trick you're only eating to get minerals. That's why you have cravings for certain things. Your body knows that there are specific minerals classified under certain tastes. So, to make sure that you're getting the most out of there, we're going to look at just breaking it down right now. We're going to start real, real basic. So let's go back to our stuffing and our cranberry sauce. You're eating. You're grabbing, 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 grabbing. Now, here's where we're going to start. When you're chewing, you want to stick with about 20 bites. I know some say 25, 30, but you'd hate me if I told you uh, 25 or 30. 30, man, you're going to turn yourself into a goat. So let's be reasonable and say 20. At least get 20 good pipe bites. And what you're doing when you're chewing, you're mechanically breaking down the food and you're providing greater surface area for breakdown for some enzymes to come in. The ace at breaking down sugars, he's called amylase. So he's going to come in and he's going to start breaking down that sugar. That's going to be called salivary amylase. It's going to come out of your mouth, okay? So you got all this sugar enzyme in your spit. So that's why you want to hold it in there and chew. 20 bites, right? Okay, so we're going to go for 20 bites. While you're doing that, you've broken it down, you've mixed it up with the salivary amylase. That has prepped the process so that when that sugar 
goes down the food tube doo -doo 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 -doo, and drops into your food bag. Bam, it hits the stomach. Now the stomach has already been told that food is coming. That's what the chewing was doing. The chewing was saying, hey, you got some grub coming. So then the stomach goes, oh, okay, all right, I'll get ready. I'll start prepping. So then once the food enters the food bag or your stomach, well, it's going to be greeted with hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is rough, rough stuff, really, really acidic. Um, if anybody has, uh, is familiar with hydrochloric acid, then you know it comes under, under other names like muriatic acid, and you use it for dissolving stuff and really, really extreme stuff. And it's not something you want to touch or even look at extreme. That's one of the, the beauties of the body, one of the miracles. You can have something so strong, a pH of two or three, sitting inside your stomach. And it's under control. That comes out and it goes away. It's pretty impressive stuff. And you have the ability to neutralize it. But that's further down the system. So, right here in your food bag, food fell in. Now, it's going to get mixed with another ace. This is called gastric amylase. So it's going to start beating up that sugar again, breaking it down. Because we don't want all this excess sugar to pass into our system not being processed. Because if you have all the sugar not being processed, it does two things. It provides great, great, great food for bacteria. For, for just all types of bad things. We don't want them around, so we don't want to feed them. Don't feed the animals. So keep the intestines clean. Keep the wildlife out of there. Don't go feeding them. Or what happens? What happens when you start feeding ducks? Well, they start crowding around. They go, hey, there's the food guy. And they start crowding around. Then they start lingering. Then they start loitering. And now you have a, a duck farm that you never wanted just because you throw them some bread or even pigeons. Same thing happens to uh, microbes in the intestines, yeast, and all kind of other nasties. They will hang out if there is, or if there are copious amounts of sugars, unprocessed sugars, starches, things like that, going through there, falling apart, bleh, mixing in with the stomach, with the gastric, the intestinal. I'm sorry, intestinal mucosa, and that takes us to another problem later because as these processed starches and whatnot break down, they have not been properly broken down by your amylase, your sugar enzymes, and they just sneak off into the dark, they start to just kind of fall apart and mesh and mix in with your mucus that's lining the intestinal tract. So that later on creates a concrete that stops you from absorbing anything. But that's later. Right now, we're going to stay in our food bag and we're getting the out the I'm sorry the gastric amylase mixed in and that's happening with our hydrochloric acid which really breaks things down okay that just breaks down everything then the amylase is going after just the sugar now we're gonna mix in a bunch of other stuff but we're gonna be talking about these sugars later now the other thing that's gonna come out I'm talking about these enzymes later. The other thing that's going to come out in the food bag is going to be intrinsic factor. Intrinsic factor is the main factor in getting your B vitamins into your system, specifically B12. So think about intrinsic factor as you would, let's say, that game in the arcade, you know, when you use the little was that joystick, you know, and the claw thing is moving around. It goes, you grab a bear, whatever you want. That's what intrinsic factor is. It comes out, it grabs the B12, and takes it back into your body. That's why as we get older, they say, oh, you're going to need B12 shots, you're going to need B12 supplementation, or else you get these issues, dementia, pernicious anemia, all these different things that happen because you don't have enough B12. Your nerves get shot. Well, you make sure that your stomach system is working properly so that the amount of intrinsic factor stays up. We'll be getting into that a little bit later with the minerals. That goes back into absorption. So that's why digestion, digestion is so important because if we don't do these very, very, very basic things at the dinner table, there's no choice. There's no choice but pain and sickness to follow. Immediately, no way. Maybe some years or something down the road. But this is how you start it. And, well, how many Thanksgivings do you have to go through picking up an extra, or holidays, picking up an extra 20 pounds before some real problems happen five, six, seven, ten 10 years later. So that's why we're talking about this now. 
So those are all our big things today. I'm gonna recap. We talked about digestion, avoiding the accumulation of fat after the holidays and pain and <laughs> inflammation that comes because our food isn't properly broken down. So we're gonna chew our food for 20 minutes, make sure it gets mixed with the ace of sugars, that's the salivary amylase. After that, it gets dropped into the food bag, gets hit with hydrochloric acid, intrinsic factor, so it can absorb the B vitamins. And there are some other things that go on in there. We do have other enzymes, such as lipase, well, he is the ace of breaking down fats. We're going to have many other guys in there. We're just going to talk about the sugar thing. because That's what we've been talking about off camera. And then I'm going to bring you some more later. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is show you a really nice um, honey. There's some different honeys. There's some other stuff that I found. I just haven't had time to make a video for you. So that's everything that we got for now, and I hope everyone has a great holiday, and maybe we catch up at, what is it, uh, Good Nutrition. Maybe we catch up there this Saturday. So, till next time, see you, wale, wale -o.